How do we normally use our fish tank water? Well, we use the water that the fish have been pooping in all week, two, three, four days. And we use that to water all our plants, indoor plants, our garden, and yeah, we just recycle. So basically we do a water change, but you rigged up some specific plumbing to make it easy. Yes, I did. Okay, so I let's- made it very easy. <laughs> you did a great job. Um, let's go over what you set up to do the actual water changes. Okay. So basically, it's, it's real simple. It's not, you know- Wait, start with the small one because uh, that's oh, how- Oh, for this? Yeah. Okay. Well, this little pump here is just attached to a hose and we got to use pumps because the tank is pretty much on the floor you know we can't use gravity to do everything on this tank here talking about siphons you're yeah. saying? yeah pump on hose <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah basically we just have this that's the main thing we could turn it off no flow flow that's how we fill up our little watering can. So we just got a, it's not generic, it has a name. It's Active Aqua. Just a little pump. Got it from the uh, <clears throat> hydroponic store. It's just connected to a black vinyl tubing. And right here, it's just a little el elbow. There you go, right here. And I just put that so it'll stay in the can better, you know. You're not using your hand, you can use your hand for something else. And the big one. So this is what we use for water changes. Yeah. Um, so once we've watered all the plants with the little pump, we'll use the blue pump to actually finish draining the tank mm -hmm. so we can complete the water change. And the water doesn't go down the drain, it goes into a reservoir that we have. In the backyard in the that we'll show. Okay, just gonna do a little uh, example of how we do what I just talked about. go so I'm turning the flow off while I set everything up What's that little thing called, babe, that you use to turn the um, flow of the water on and off? A uh, flow valve. That's all. See, that good. Uh... There you go. All right, that's enough water for the example. Turn it back off. Pop it here, turn it on. So you don't want a lot of back pressure on the pump. That'll kind of damage it. What's over back time. pressure, babe? Like when I turn, okay, so the pump is pushing water up here, obviously. So when I turn it off or restrict it, that water is still being pushed through the pump, but since it's not going anywhere, it's actually going in reverse, and that's putting a lot of wear it on the motor and it'll decrease the longevity of the pump yes so put that there it's not going to go anywhere because uh if it did go anywhere 
and we didn't notice it's gonna drain all the way to the end of this this pump that's uh, about 55 gallons of water on your floor so Side note, another great reason to have the elbow connector attached to your pump while watering your plants is you can easily hang the hose on the side of the fish tank in between filling the watering can and watering plants like Dwayne just did. Um, and you can also move it to angle it so gravity works with you in preventing excess water dripping on the floor or on your table or any furniture for that matter. Take the little pump out. Okay, so Wait. normally we drain the tank a lot more when we're watering plants, but for time's sake, um, we just watered a few plants and then we disconnect the little pump and we then bring in the big guns. Bang, bang. <laughs> I'm doing this because there's still water in here. You don't want it on your floor. Yeah, so use gravity. Mm -hmm. to help you. This pump? Well, same as the little pump. It's attached to some vinyl tubing. What kind of pump is that blue pump? Good. You got me eBay. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, but it's a submersible pump. Oh, yeah. It's, a, it's submersible, yes. You can't run this outside of your tank. You will burn it down. Not the house, the pump. It'll burn, burn the motor. And then we have vinyl tubing. We have vinyl tubing. Connected by what? This is braided vinyl tubing. It's heavy duty because we have to get it under a door and we noticed this was getting cut up. So we just added this. This could take the abuse from the door. And we had to, after we had ordered the heavy duty vinyl tubing, we had noticed it wasn't long enough. So that's why we added the additional, uh, yeah. less heavy duty vinyl Plus, tubing. This is easier to mold through heat onto the pump. That right there, it's real thick, it's real hard. So, oh man, good luck trying to get it over this without being frustrated. Okay, so now How did you connect the two vinyl tubings? There's a black rod in here and I just connected it with these uh, clamps. And you have to be careful, the rod isn't indestructible, it's still made out of plastic so, you know. You don't want it to break while you're doing a water change and the pump shoots the water all over your house because this broke off from this. All right, so now we're going to transition from watering our indoor plants to showing how we set up a bin outside to water our outdoor plants or our garden outside. That's the, what we're talking about. So when we're going to water our outside garden, this is the bin that we use and it's, it's pretty simple. It's just a pump that's down at the bottom. Just having the water circulate, it won't go aerobic and, you know, get bad. Anaerobic. I said, oh, ha! I meant anaerobic. Thank you. So, an it'll line. Turn, <laughs> it'll turn anaerobic from a lack of oxygen, yeah. and stagnant water can turn anaerobic very yeah. quickly. So, we keep a similar setup as to what we used inside with the smaller so, pump. It's always being oxygenated here. And uh, the constant water flow just makes sure that the beneficial bacteria in the fish tank water that we're using 
doesn't don't die. die. But uh, before we get to use it, but I'm gonna unplug it. This is um, 50 gallon water. And then can you show real quick the terracotta pot? Oh, well, you can see the hole that you would get at the store, but it wasn't enough flow to drop the water as fast as I wanted, so I just drilled more holes on the side. Love it. Yep. And then you also cut a little... Oh, um, just a little notch for the terracotta and to hold the pump in place and the cord. It normally goes like this. And then so we clamp this I part. I put the hose in the hole. Giggity. And then, yeah, we clamp it. Just in case somebody come by and knock it over. It'll be pretty hard to drain out all of our water and burn out the pump. And because uh, this looks like dirt, but it's actually Algae. yeah from the sun hitting it. And all the nutrients the in the water. So if we don't see algae, we know something's up with our uh, reservoir. And then can you talk real quick, babe, about what's inside there? Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> Uh, if you could see down there, there's uh, sponges and uh, K1 caldness. I had it for another project and I didn't use all of it, so hey, just throw it in there. And it's just some place for bacteria to latch onto and, you know, thrive. Can you talk about, like, if it wasn't there, how the side? Well, if it wasn't there, then the side of this whole bin would be really, really slimy. And so that's basically a beneficial yeah, bacteria hotel. One of the last things to mention is to consider what you're using to dechlorinate your water if you'll be using your fish tank water on any kind of edible plants. Commonly accepted dechlorinators in the aquarium industry are great for off-gassing chlorine and neutralizing ammonia, especially if your water district uses chloramine like ours, but products like that aren't food grade. Um, as a result, we use absorbic acid to dechlorinate our water, but of course that has its own downsides. We'll save for a different video. And speaking of different videos, if you enjoyed this post, I highly recommend to check out the rest of our channel. Um, we shared a lot of content all about how we are currently homesteading with fish in a small suburban home. And we really optimize the use of our fish tank water in several different avenues. As always, thank you for watching our video. We invite you to our home by clicking that subscribe button and really appreciate if you like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Peace and love to all.